Okay, today I'm going to be showing you how to update your SketchUp model after you've already imported it to Lumion and you've already set uh, all your materials and you've added all the trees or the objects that you're going to add in. Um, I don't have any trees in this specific model, so I'm just going to add one real quick. Uh, this happens a lot where you'll send somebody your Lumion file, the video, or the renders from it, and then they'll want to update or tweak something. And the thing that they want to update or tweak is actually was originally modeled in your SketchUp file. And so you'd have to go back and change your SketchUp file, and then you have to pull it back in, but you're going to lose all of those materials that you had already set. And so what you do is Lumion actually has a tool built in to fix this because you don't want to have to bring in your SketchUp file and then reapply all of the Lumion materials that you applied to everything. So what you do is you just go out of Lumion and you go to your original... It's going to be a little bit laggy because I've got the screen recorder and Lumion going at the same time. All right. So we're going to go to the original Lumion file. And I, what I do is I save my SketchUp models in a folder, and I save them under, um, usually I'll save them under Lumion Assembly, but I saved it under Design Options, because uh, there were several different design options that I did. And in my Collada file, my Collada files are blue wall with rings, large inset rings, blue wall with rings, and rings on wall. So this a particular client had um, multiple options, but instead of having to bring each individual one into Lumion and reapply my materials and my objects, um, I just needed to save under a new Collada file, and I'll show you that, how to do that real quick. So what I'll do is I'll go into my SketchUp models, I'll go into my design options, and let's see which one we actually have open real quick. Uh, blue wall with rings. Got the blue wall with rings. So, I'm going to open that up. I'm going to start using SketchUp. Let's go back in here. So we can place more objects. And this is the pro version of uh, sorry, the basic version, the paid basic version of Lumion. You can get a trial version. So if you haven't tried Lumion before, I'll actually put a link in the video description to download your free trial. And it gives you all the features, except for there's a watermark, and there's going to be, um, there won't be very many objects. Your object library, library will be limited. But it's good. Oh, I'm using the wrong controls. Okay, so here we are. Let's go down. Get out of this. Now, a trick for this is to just do a uh, camera and then zoom extents if you ever get stuck like that. Because it's being so laggy right now, because I've got so many programs running that are graphic intensive. Okay. Okay, so. Theoretically, oh, this is the blue wall file. Well, let's go back out of this. Get out of the blue wall file. Blue wall with rings. Let's see, what am I looking for? Rings on wall. That's the one I want. Let's go back in here. So, while I'm trying to sort all that out, what I'll usually do is come in here and also be applying my materials or my people, my objects. Eliminated all the people on this. I'm kind of torn on the people. I don't. I don't know. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the on the whole uh, whether or not people are professional looking. I have this. I don't know if you've ever heard of the um, Uncanny Valley, but it's essentially in in CG animation it is essentially if a human looks really humanistic, a humanoid object looks really human in the face, but it's not quite human enough, it can start to get freaky. That's why a lot of androids look really scary when you see them. And actually, James Cameron 
uh, he started, he had the idea for um, Avatar long before he started filming for Titanic, but they just had an issue with getting past the Uncanny Valley. Okay, so here we go. A little conversation while we wait for everything to load up. So you can see here that this original material uh, is actually a TAM material, so I added that material within Lumion, and I can do a I can do a tutorial on that as well because I don't know. I, I'm assuming that you know Lumion pretty good extent if you're trying to just update your SketchUp model. If that means that you've already gone in and made some adjustments. Okay, so let's assume that the client wanted to actually get rid of this furniture, and because this furniture is in the SketchUp file itself. I can't just delete it from the Lumion file right here. And so what I would do is I would go into this, all the furniture is grouped so it's easier to control, but I would come in here and I would delete these three pieces of furniture. Now let's get out of it. And let's say that they wanted to place, I don't know, something silly, like a table, a different table. Um, yeah, this works. Bring it in. I always check every component that I import. I'll check it. I'll go in there and I'll hit unhide. Make sure they don't have any hidden geometry within it. And then that way I can go in and delete it. Because it's funny, people upload models all the time to the object library and there's lines going everywhere. Okay, so we're just going to put this table right there. Okay, obviously we would never do that in real life, but this is just for the purpose of this tutorial. And now what you do is you come up here, you go up to File, you go to Export, 3D Model. And what you do is you find, now it's going to come right down here, it's going to show, I just use my fingers to point at the screen, <laughs> You, uh, it's going to show the last file name that you used. And so that's nice because you don't have to find. It's actually, if, if you're working on a specific one and you're making a bunch of changes, it's going to be down here for you. So that's super nice that they've done that. Let's go to Client Work and Lisbon Studios, CR England. Go to your Collada files. Now this original Collada file is the large inset rings. No, it's rings on wall. And I will override that original file. I'll hit export. Rings on wall already exists. Yes. So we just wait for that to finish writing. And again, you could change all sorts of things, but the, th the key thing to remember is that if you change uh, your glass doors, for instance, and you've changed the glass material here within Lumion, the key thing to remember is that if you change this door, you need to make sure that the original material, your SketchUp material that you have set, is the same name, is the same material. Because when you update your SketchUp model, it's going to take the names of all your materials within the model and it's going to apply them, reapply them to what you've done in Lumion. And so another thing you want to do is these are just, these lights don't have any emissions within these columns here and neither do the top lights. And so what you want to do to limit the time it takes you to change all your materials in Lumion is to make these lights the same material because then when you click them in Lumion it's going to change all it's going to select every material that is that material within your model so we're going to come back in here while we're waiting for things I'm just trying to make sure give some hints things that people might not have thought of or heard before okay so now what we do is we come to import right here and what you have to do is you have to hit edit materials and this is a funny place that they put this button but edit materials and then you need to select this original model you need to find where your selection point is at now it's easy to find your selection point if you make sure to have your SketchUp model uh, right next to the original axis 
and it's going to be really laggy right now because of the video. Up. And up. Come on. We want to go up. Up a little more. And there it is. That's the white dot. And so this will select my whole SketchUp model object. So I select that. Going to take a minute to load it. Probably longer than usual. Okay. So it just it comes up with the last material we were working with, but we don't we don't need to work on that. What we need to do is oh, go back to materials. Why did that happen? Click that dot. Okay. Come right down here, you'll see a button that says reload model, reload model, and reapply materials right here. And you click that right there. And that's going to reload that Collada file that you've overwritten with your new version. So we'll wait for that to reload. So that's the key. The key is to make sure that you select this SketchUp model. We'll zoom out here, come back down, and there you have it. Brought in the furniture, removed that, and yet we still have all of the materials we need. Actually, it looks like I changed the name of the materials here. So I actually made a mistake here. This should be blue still, but because I've gone in and actually made some updates to the colors, I've actually changed the paint color name, and that's why I actually lost those materials that I originally had set in here. But I still have my lights, I still have all my tile, and I still have all my glass. So I didn't have to redo my glass. And same right here, same here with the railing. Same with the floor. I didn't have to redo the floor. And so uh, that pretty much concludes this tutorial. Um, I really enjoy Lumion. Uh, I've been using it for some time now, and it's just a great, awesome software. And I definitely recommend checking out and downloading it the free version if you don't have it and uh, if you do have it i would love to uh, you know leave leave some comments or send me your way if you have some videos i love watching the fly through videos that people create so just leave me a comment so i can go check out your fly throughs all right and i will talk to you later bye